I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and today we've got something that's a bit of a legend. The 420 Hornet Trophy. Now when I was a kid and I'm old, a 450 Hornet Trophy was the trophy boat, was the greatest boat you could ever have. They were about 35 grand when any other boat was 15. I used to look at them boat ramp and think, gee, one day I'll have one of them. Well, let's have a look at this. And hold on, come down here, Dan, quick. Here's me mate, Andrew. How long ago did you buy this motor, Andrew? Uh, about 10 years. Eight, 10 eight, years eight, ago, eight. he bought it off me. It's an F100, how many hours you done? Oh, Shut, put Andrew in it, have a look at this. Because this is classic boat. Yeah. Now, I've got to tell you, I didn't sell his boat, or I didn't do any work on it, right? So if that's Phil Hemley from the Queensland Maritime Safety, I didn't do it. Now, have a look at this. This is a classic. Goes offshore, where do you go in this boat, Andrew? Uh, Cleander, Bow and Banks, Cape. Caboltra Put it on him, show him. He's Caboltra catching River. prawns. Mud Island. Prawns, what else are you catching? You're going out to get some mud crab? Uh, mud crab to Savo, hopefully, check the pots. How often do you go fishing? Uh, been about 20 times in the last three weeks. 20 times in the last Easy. three weeks. Have Easy. a look at it, come Easy. and have a little quick look at this. What do you got up the front here in this box, Andrew? Uh, you know, just sand Anchors, anchor. sand anchor, he's got an oh. anchor boy because Andrew does a lot of fishing, he knows, he doesn't pull an anchor up. Have a look at this windscreen and custom cabin. You know, imagine, imagine building one of them, look at this thing. What was this boat to start with? The CJ. CJ. Seneca, Seneca console, inside console, Seneca. Seneca, Seneca. Right, look, beautiful electronics there, Furuno sounder, Lawrence chart plotter, radios, and this hundred, have a look at that. You ever had any trouble with it? Not once, not once. Did you know if you ever take that Brisbane Yamaha sticker off, you lose your not warranty? The, the only trouble nah, you haven't got any warranty, it's got 1300 hours. Nah, battery terminals <laughs> come loose, that was it. Battery terminals that's come really loose. Happened. And I can tell you, would you buy anything else than a Yamaha, Andrew? If I had the money, I'd get one tomorrow, another one. Good on you, mate. Come <laughs> and see me when you get a good deal. Now, come up here, Dan, and let's have a look at this Hornet, because these are a special boat. And what we've built this for, come straight to the front, Dan. We're going to go, all right? Yeah, go, you go, drive past, all good. We might even see you when you come back and see how many crabs you caught, because the crabs and the prawns are going off their head. Have a look under here. This is called the Fighter Series. Now, what does this hull do? It gives stability, it cuts through. Have a look at that sharp angle on it, that entry. And this is what's unique to the fighter series. Why? It maximizes stability and it maximizes ride and dryness. This stuff doesn't ha just happen. You know, this isn't by osmosis and someone just comes up with a hull. And the fighter with the pickle fork hull that gives you that big beam, it's got the mid coder on it, 54 pound. You know, good aluminium trailer. Have a look at that. Well, this is a, it's a little beauty, you know? It's amazing, to tell the truth. Colors are good, the design's good. It's got a Garmin sounder on it. And have a look at the back here, Dan. We've got an F50, maximum horsepower. Now, somebody said to me the other day, we did a, uh, uh, Explorer Trophy 400 and they said don't they take a 50? No, or a 40? No, they were maximum horse at a 30. You know, but this one because it's the Hornet Trophy and they're wider bigger and Dan will put the specs up like he does, it goes with a 50 and these Yamaha 50s, they've got the same cubic capacity of a, a 60. They don't go quite as hard as a 60. You can't make a 50 into a 60. It's not a matter of taking something out. It's, it's all part of the mapping and the and the and how it works. We've got the intake, live boat tank. Some of the great thing about this boat is the amount of storage. It's only a 420, don't forget. We've got the Min Coda, that pickle fork gives an enormous amount of work, room to work with. You know, and the stability of this hull. Look up here, rotary molded, anchor well. Now, you can, you can get us an optical action, and there's your cleaning gear that you get with all the tell wall, your Quintrex boats. So, and like I've said before, you don't treat a boat like a piece of industrial equipment, you treat it like a luxury car. You use good quality shampoos on it, not truck wash under any circumstance. Now in there, storage, look at all this room you get, Dan. Like my kids, I've got four kids, I reckon three of them would fit in there. Lock them in there if they were naughty. Oh, have a look back here. Now, 
the wiring and how we do a Minn Kota. There's your breakaway down there for the Minn Kota. Look up here. Look how neat it is and everything's gone. Everything's away because we're out in the salt. Beautiful Minn Kota there that just, you know, you can get other stuff. And I know people own it and they think it's good, but if you own a Minn Kota, it's way better and for the value for money, you know. Now, have a look down here, Dan. Look at that. You've got the hole in the floor. No, you haven't. That's your Minn Kota battery. Why? Because you want the weight low, you want it centered. There it is, that is just beautiful. Back here, live bait tank. You know, the biggest flathead I've ever caught in my life. I caught with the biggest whiting I've ever caught. Don't be scared to put a big bait out there, that's for sure. And on this side, your fuel tank. You know, fuel filter, isolation switch, your auto bilge down there, more good Brisbane Yamaha wiring and setup. Geez, I'm proud of the team at Brisbane Yamaha. They really are the best. There's nothing like it. Look how everything is. We've just done so much of it, we're good of it. Now back here, what do we got here? 703 control box. Oh, that's a good looking Garmin, isn't it? Look at that touch screen. It's got everything down view. And oh, have a look here. This is interesting. Just a little touch of beauty, isn't it? You know, so what you got is you got your black side color and you got your white tail water paint because that's just awesome. And steering, you can cut these seats down. I'd probably cut them down a little bit. It's easy to do, but we like to leave it. Quick shine around there and show that Andrew take it off. That thing goes like a rocket. Any of Dan, come on quick because people want to see how it goes. We've got a new drone. That's the other thing. I finally got the drone. Oh, we've got our two gauges, we've got switches, we've got all that. This is beautiful. Let's go in the water and see how this beauty goes, because these are awesome. Hey, here we are, out in a 420 Hornet Trophy. And have a look, we're in the Caboolture River. We've had lots of rain, so the prawns are running. And look, behind us, pro throw, ca throw cast nets. What are you fellas up to? Oh, look at that! He's got buckets of prawns, you know? Know why? Because pro throw are the best cast net you can buy. Right, now you should have a look. They're local, they're in Redcliffe, and they're awesome and they work. There's my mate Andy. He was going to catch some crabs. He saw the prawns go and he couldn't help himself. So, let's go and have a look and see how this hornet travels, eh? Okay, here we go. And we got the 50 going. Now it's taking about five seconds to get up. And geez, these hornets are just bloody beautiful. You know, oh, I swore I'm not allowed to say that. They are awesome. Look at this thing go, you know. I tune it down. If you want to know what it'll do, at 5'7", it's doing 48. Right now, we're doing 4'7". We're doing 40 kilometers an hour. We're in the Caboolture River. You know, I've got uh, a little tiny bit of trim. I'll probably trim down a little bit just to get it. And it's smooth. And look at that hull. Dan, try and get that new drone onto this hull and show how this fighter series kicks it out low, kicks it out far. You know, this is why Quintrex and the R&D, that 420. And look, we're out here, it's just a beautiful day. The boys are out casting for prawns. They've got 20 litre buckets full. They'll probably let half of them back, don't worry about that. And fish, there's flathead everywhere, there's brim. The world is alive with the rain we've had. I hated the rain, I like it for the farmers, I like it to put the bushfires out, I like it for my grass, even though I'm cutting it every day. But I can tell you, for our waterways, our estuaries, our bay, that big rain we had, that big wet was awesome. The mud crabs are on, the prawns are on, the fish are breeding, the whole place has been charged. It's the perfect time to have a boat like this, you know? Trim it down, make a turn. You know, we bring it back. Ah, oh, this hornets brings back memories. They're not my memories, because I could never afford a hornet when I was a kid. You know, this thing's, this isn't an expensive boat. This is quality. And you pay for quality, but you don't pay any more for what you get at Quintrex. And at Brisbane Yamaha, I tell you, you'll just get the best boats, the best packages. 
you know I've got two yards. I've got one north side, Brisbane Yamaha, one south side, Brisbane Quintrex. Brisbane Quintrex has got Avonrude, it's got Yamaha, it's got Baysport, Yellowfin, Quintrex. You know, there's hundreds of boats on the north side. You can see the Garmin's picked up the bottom. The whole time, it's never lost bottom. It's finding fish. So, you know, that's a good thing. If your boat's not, if your boat's not keeping bottom at 50 kilometres an hour in a 420, right? Well, you haven't got a Quintrex, have you? If you want to do this, you should buy a Quintrex. I love them. I love them a lot. Here come some birds, some pelicans. Nature. Out in nature, getting a feed. It's the oldest instinct we've got. Hunter and gatherer, you know? You go home on the telly, your wife hates you. Watching telly, sitting there on the couch like a, a potato. Or you get out here in nature. And your wife goes, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry I'm home, sweetheart. Says, oh, I've made you a roast. Had you catch anything? Oh, here's a bucket of prawns and some fish. Oh, I love you, she'll say. You know, chicks love blokes with boats. And blokes love chicks with boats, you know? Now let's have a look at that. The alarm's going off. I've got into less than 1.3. If you want to buy a boat, if you want to get out of here into some of Queensland's nature, if you want to have fun with the family, reconnect with your wife, take your mates out, be the envy of the street, a boat like this, your neighbours will hate you. All right? But do yourself a favour, come to one of my two stores, save yourself a fortune, get the best service, get the best boat, and that's my guarantee to you. And I'll see you on the water.